Hey guys, you're back with Steph and Dennis, and today we're talking about our experience with EQ Bank. We've been talking about this bank since we first did a video back in January of this year about high interest savings accounts in Canada, and spoiler alert, this is the bank that we chose to go with. We said that we would do an update on EQ Bank, the platform, and what our plans are moving forward with it, so that's what we're gonna get into today. If you're excited for that, show us some love down below, and let's get started. All right, so before we kick things off, we have to talk about the why and what exactly we're using our bank account that we've opened up with EQ Bank for. Obviously, we've talked about this bank before, for example, in our best high interest rate savings accounts video and in our COVID-19 high interest rate savings accounts video update. So where we actually gave you all the update on all the different rates and all how all the banks were performing, basically. Anyways, back when we first opened this account, what we were really looking for was an alternative to the big five banks here in Canada for a number of of reasons. I know we've said this a lot in the past, but there really are a lot of new players that are really disrupting the game that we might not have seen before in the past or might not have heard much of really, right? Now, although EQ Bank might seem new to some people, it is. However, it is brought to you by Equitable Bank, which has been around since 1970. Steph and I have been with EQ Bank since early January of this year, and I think what really drew us in was their Savings Plus account, and more importantly, their platform, which we'll walk through in a second to show you guys how, like, how good it is, basically. Something else that we haven't really talked about up until now is our YouTube earnings. And obviously you've heard some from some past videos me talk about my savings goals and where I'm keeping that money, but we've never really dove into our YouTube earnings yet. So we thought what better of a time to do it than in this video when we're kind of talking about where our earnings actually go. We did touch on this a little bit in our video from last week when we talked about when to save your money versus when to invest your money. But if you are looking to save your money and a place to put it, maybe you're starting an emergency fund, maybe you're buying a house in the next little bit of time in the short term, the Savings Plus account that EQ Bank does have is a great option for that. They do have some great benefits like their current interest rate of 1.7% and also it's paid out monthly, but then we'll dive into the rest of those benefits in a second. We're not really sure where other YouTubers are keeping their money, but something that's definitely important to us is making sure that we're not being charged any ridiculous fees. We're still relatively small YouTubers and even now that we are monetized and starting to make some money, we want to make sure that we're able to utilize that money to its full potential to bring better content to you on this channel. And as you know, we upload two videos every week, but the largest chunk of time to create those videos is really in the editing process. And right now our laptop isn't really cutting it and it definitely slows us down and takes up more time later into the night. So overall, in order to save up and buy that equipment, we really did want a bank that was gonna have flexible fees, like zero everyday banking fees, and somewhere that has the highest interest rate possible in the short term, since we know we will be withdrawing that money. So let's take a look at some of the pros and the cons of the bank. If we start off with the pros, right off the bat, you gotta point out, they've got a zero minimum balance, they've got free e-transfers, free transactions, and I'll throw up on the screen some of the other things that they've listed as free on their website. Now, I know that some of these features we actually often take for granted, but one of the main reasons that I don't bank with the big five anymore is because of all these little fees here and there that you're often charged. Sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't, right? One of the examples that I always give and can remember is back when I initially graduated and was still banking with one of the big fives, they poured it over my account from a student account over to a regular account. Basically what this meant is that they all of a sudden started charging me $15, $16 a month just so I could let them let me keep my money at the bank, which is ridiculous to me. Like just doesn't make sense. Like I said before, when we were looking at all the different options to go with, obviously something that stands out is the zero minimum balance and the free transaction. <laughs> so I'm no longer being charged to let a bank let me keep my money at their institution. So something else to consider is obviously the safety of your money. And this is probably one of the main reasons that deter a lot of people. And it deterred me initially from making that switch from a big five bank to one of the online banks or digital banks, right? Well, you'll be happy to know that Equitable Bank is a member of CDIC see and this means that your funds are eligible for deposit insurance now some of the cons you know the first con that comes to mind is definitely the interest rate on their savings plus account so obviously when it comes to different high interest rate savings accounts we know that the interest rate is subject to change and obviously with covid and all the different measures that were coming into place and all the different you know businesses that were affected this did also affect the banks and i know that one of the main reasons we went with eq bank was because they had one of the highest rates at the time well that rate has gone gone down due to COVID, but it is still one of the highest rates out there comparing to some of the different banks that we've come across. So although it did go down, this wasn't specific to EQ Bank. The other banks did also go down, but EQ Bank does still maintain one of the highest rates even now. All right, another con is around EQ Bank being a digital bank. And as a result of them being a digital bank, they don't give you a debit card for ATM access in order to withdraw any cash. This is obviously something that you
you should consider if it is important to you. But one thing that I can say is that their app and their website are really fluid and are very user friendly. Something that they do to let you get around that is that they let you connect with you know different bank accounts. So in case you do need to take out money, you can easily transfer from accounts to accounts. Now, before we jump into the screen share and I walk you through our actual account as well as how to actually set things up, I do want to mention that we do have a link down in the description box below for anyone who is looking for a high interest rate savings account. It's our first time having this, so we are pretty pumped. Like we said before, this is the bank that we chose and went with. It's the bank that we use on the regular. So for anyone who's looking to open up a high interest rate savings account or open up an account, make sure you'll use the link down below in the description box. And yeah, let's go. All right, guys, so I wanted to take this opportunity to actually walk you through their platform. I know that me and Steph have mentioned that it's a pretty good platform in the past. It's one of the main reasons why we actually wanted to sign up with the bank, just because of how user friendly it was. And there's also been a bunch of reviews on, you know, how easy it is to sign up, for example. It really takes you no time. So if we go in here, we go to and we click on the join button, right? it takes us to this registration page right here. And this is where you can see some of the different little um, perks that they have. And what you should actually think of before you actually go forward is, um, before you start, you need to make sure that you are a Canadian resident. You do meet your province's age of majority. So whichever province you're in, whatever that is. Um, you have a social insurance number, social security number in handy, right? So once you get all that together, you're pretty much good to go in terms of signing up. And for me, it was a very, very seamless process. So I was able to actually link this bank account with my other bank account that I've talked about in the past. And it makes it easy for me to transfer funds from you know that bank's account to EQ Bank's account, right? So we're obviously, I've already joined, so we're obviously not gonna be joining today. But what I am gonna do is I'm actually gonna sign into my account here and we're gonna check out what it looks like from the inside once you actually do set it up so bear with me here what is my password there we go oh no no, no. we need to go to actually sign in there we go so i'm gonna enter my email address here password's good to go let's sign in uh Security question. <clears throat> so as you can see here, as soon as we sign in, you've got your dashboard, right? So this is where you're gonna see any of the accounts that you have. So I've got my own personal account and I've got the Steph and Dan account that me and Steph uh, have jointly together. So on the dashboard, you can see the two different accounts, what their balances are, what's available, that sort of thing. Um, you know, they have the pay, pay bill option, send an e-transfer option. One thing that I will note is that their website obviously is pretty good and it is very user friendly, but their app is even better, I find. I find that their app is super, super easy to use, unlike a lot of, you know, the other more traditional banks that are out there. I guess let's work our way around this uh, this site here. Um, so we can actually go here to accounts and you can view the different products. You can, you, oh, oh, one thing that's actually really cool that they do is for your direct deposits, right? I know that a lot of banks, it's sort of a hassle to get that check that you need, um, the void check. But here you can actually generate it whenever for whenever you need it. And then they also have your tax documents here, you know, if you want to see your bank statements, that sort of thing. So very, very classic, right? But what you find when you're actually navigating their website is that it's super user friendly and you, you intuitively, I think that's how I gauge whether a website or whether an app is actually good, is that I intuitively know where to go, right? I intuitively know where some of the key main features that I know that I'll be using, um, like where I can get those. We will, have a, we will have a link to their website down below that you can check out. You can go through the website, go through it, you know, do, do what you need to do. Um, I'll go into one of these. I'll go, to the, I'll go into the Steph and Den account just so you can see what it actually looks like once you actually go into the account. So once you actually go into the account, it looks pretty good, right? Like um, it tells you your total balance, um, available balance, you know, the interest rate on the specific account. So right now they, 
they have an interest rate of 1.7%. Uh, and I know it's not as high as it used to be, but it is much higher than a lot of um, some of the other, than a lot of the other options that are out there. So um, definitely something to keep in mind there. So to wrap it all up, when it comes to our plans moving forward, we do have some short-term savings goal when it comes to our YouTube earnings, like I mentioned, upping our editing equipment, like a new laptop, ideally new microphones as well, potentially a lens, we'll pace ourselves, and also some goals when it comes to my personal savings and earnings as well. We really wanna keep our money in a platform that's really easy to use and doesn't give us any issues from a user experience perspective. But the monetary perspective is important as well. Like we mentioned, ideally not paying any any fees. So moving forward, our plan is to track how our money is doing in this account, and we'll definitely have more detailed breakdowns in the future, videos about our YouTube earnings overall, actually diving into those numbers a little bit and show you how it's going in the EQ Bank Savings Plus account. And of course, as we've mentioned in some of our previous high interest rate savings accounts videos, interest rates are always subject to change in either direction, so we'll also keep you posted on how that's going at that point. All right, guys, we hope that you enjoyed this video. We hope that you check out EQ Bank down below. Make sure you use the link in the description box and let's get it. If you like the video, make sure you like down below. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't checked out our previous videos, you already know they're gonna be next door. We'll be back next week, same time, same place. You already know what it is. Let's get it.